Good evening, Belize, and welcome to your weather report and forecast from the National Meteorological Service. I am Ronald Gordon. Weather conditions started off cool and mostly dry this morning, and then by afternoon, with the intense daytime heating, a few showers and thunderstorms developed mainly over inland areas at first and moved towards the coast later in the evening. In particular, you can see a few showers just near Sand Hill and also some just offshore the beneath the area. What can we expect for going forward to tonight? Some of these showers and thunderstorms that I showed you on radar a while ago will be moving more towards the coast and offshore tonight. So San Pedro, you may see a few showers and thunderstorms affecting you later this evening into tonight. In terms of our temperatures, if you're in Belmopan, San Ignacio, or up in the north, Orange Walk and Corozal, you will see temperatures in the lower 70s. Whereas if you're along the coast, it will not be as warm as it normally is because of the westerly winds that we're expecting. So Belize today will see temperatures in the mid 70s, San Pedro in the upper 70s. Looking forward to tomorrow, the intense daytime heating will produce another bout of showers and thunderstorms, mainly over inland areas at first and moving to the coast later in the afternoon. Some of these thunderstorms could be severe at times and therefore we have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. In terms of our temperatures tomorrow, it's going to be another hot day with temperatures of about 93 Fahrenheit in Bamapan, 94 in San Ignacio, 93 in Orange Walk. Along coastal areas where the sea breeze typically causes you to feel a bit cooler, it will actually be hot tomorrow because of the westerly winds. So in Belize today, you may see temperatures of about 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 89 in Dangriga, and a relatively hot 91 down in Punta Gorda. In terms of the forecast for the next four days, on tomorrow, Tuesday, we will see a few more showers and thunderstorms developing inland in the afternoon and moving over the coast during the late evening into the night. A similar pattern is expected on Wednesday. By Thursday, conditions will begin to improve with relatively good weather by Friday. In terms of the tropics, our main focus is Hurricane Ian, which developed as a hurricane over the weekend. The system currently has winds of 100 miles per hour and is moving to the north-northwest at 13 miles per hour. The forecast is for the system to move to the north-northwest, impacting western Cuba and eventually affecting the Florida area. Although the system will not that impact Belize directly, we will have winds from the west-northwest producing very hot daytime conditions. This will also produce some thunderstorms inland at first, which will move to the coast later in the evening. In terms of the marine conditions, winds are out of the west to northwest at 10 to 20 knots, waves of 4 to 6 feet with moderate sea conditions. In the astronomical conditions, there will be a low tide at 4.54 tomorrow morning, a high tide follows at 10.58 also in the morning, another low at 4.57 tomorrow evening and a high tide at 10.46 tomorrow night. Sunrise will be at 5.42 tomorrow morning, while the sun will set at 5.44 in the evening. The moon will rise at 7.10 tomorrow morning and set at 8 minutes after 7 tomorrow night. And that's it from the National Meteorological Service. Join us again on Wednesday for another weather report and forecast. Have a pleasant and restful evening.